let me set the scene for y'all real quick. I'm sitting home on the couch, chilling, you know, just got off work, enjoying my night. And then I get a text from my homeboy, Khalil. I look at the iMessage notification and I see that it's a Michael Scott GIF. Now I'm sitting here thinking it's the Michael Scott GIF of, oh my God, everybody stay calm, it's happening. So I get all excited. Of course, I'm on edge as a Heat fan with all these rumors around. Of course, you got the Damian Lillard rumors, AKA he who should not be named. If y'all saw my last video, if you didn't, go check it out. I'm over here sitting, th thinking that something crazy happened. You got free agency tomorrow, Star. So I'm getting all excited. And then I finally open the text and I see that it's instead the Michael Scott gift of him saying, no, no, God, please, no. And then I'm like, damn, what happened now? I go ahead and scroll up one more and I see that Khalil also texted me a screenshot of the tweet from Sham Sharania saying, the Miami Heat and LA Clippers are interested in James Harden. Now, a few hours before that, we got the news from Woj and Shams that James Harden opted into his $35 million contract with the uh, the idea that he wanted a sign and trade to go elsewhere. Now, uh, initially, the teams that they said were the Clippers and the Knicks, and I'm sitting there waiting saying, when will the Heat get announced as a, as a possible suitor? You always hear the Miami Heat with all these guys, and 90% of the time is never true. But for some reason, all these players and agents and teams love using the Miami Heat as leverage because everybody's interested in coming to Miami, although we unfortunately haven't got anybody since Jimmy. Unless you count Larry, which I don't want to. But anyways, sure enough, we get the video from Shams, comes out and says the Clippers and the Heat are possible suitors. Now, some Heat fans are saying that this is just to put pressure on Damian Lillard, thinking that, oh, Dame's going to sit there and look at this and say, oh, I better get my ass to Miami or they going to get James Harden. No, that's a completely idiotic theory because if Dame wants to come here, he would have said it by now. That's why I had dropped the whole last video saying I'm done talking about Dame. Now, some people said that I need to be more patient because landing these stars takes time. I understand that. I mean, I will. I am willing to be patient for a guy of Damian Lillard's caliber. My whole point of that video was I want to stop talking about it until it finally happens because there's been a hundred rumors or reports of things that aren't news at all, but people are acting like it's a big deal when in reality, it's the same stuff we heard over and over again. So I'm done talking about Damian Lillard until something actually happens with him. But regardless, there's people out there saying that this is this James Harden rumor is just to put pressure on Dame to demand a trade, which he is never going to do. I mean, I hope he does. I would love Dame in Miami, even though I banned his name just last video. He would be awesome here. Uh, but I'm officially done talking about him because that rumor is idiotic. Now, as far as James Harden, you best believe I don't want that bum anywhere near my team. Listen, there's four guys in the NBA that I hate, that I can officially say I hate. One of them y'all know is Kyrie Irving because he is a major drama queen, a huge cancer, and among many other things, I'm not a fan of his. If I start to get into it, I won't stop for 40 minutes, so I'm not going to do it. Another guy that I hate, probably probably the most in the league, is Rudy Gobert because it, he is a huge bum, a giant cry bear, uh, baby, and I don't like how he was disrespecting my boy Whiteside back in the day. That That's the honest truth, but that's a whole other story. The third guy I hate is Devin Booker because he is a huge crybaby. And the fourth guy I hate is another guy we've heard heat rumors about is Paul George. And that's just because playoff P is a bum. And I haven't respected him since then. Outside of those four guys that I hate, the next tier of guys, of guys that I very much dislike, starts with James Harden. The dude is a habitual playoff choker and easily one of the most overrated players in NBA history. People, people I, I've told people that. And they say, how can you say that about a guy putting up triple doubles left and right, dropping 60 points every other night? And I'm saying because it's easy for him to do that in the regular season. Credit to him. If everybody could do that, they would. Not everybody can do what James Harden does. But to fall off a cliff to the degree that he does every single playoffs is not a guy that I consider a superstar. It's not. Even this playoff run, he scored 42 points against the Boston Celtics, and everybody was saying, oh, look, James Harden's back. I told you he could be a playoff guy. And I sat there and said, I guarantee you he don't score over 20 the rest of the series. There was three more games after that. He had 17 points, 13 points, and then ended it with a game seven performance of, uh, of a total of nine points. And I think he shot like 27%. He was God awful as I knew what happened and everybody else should have expected as well. So I think James Harden is a huge bum. He is the complete opposite of Heat culture. When there was rumors about the Heat getting him a few years ago, I said I wouldn't trade Tyler Hero for him. I wouldn't trade a bag of chips for him. I wouldn't trade all the money in my pocket for, for James Harden. And if you look at my pockets, they're empty. 
Because your boy's your boy's a broke boy right now, to be honest. I really am. I just got a nail in my tire for the second time in a week. And that's not going to be cheap to fix because I need to get a whole new tire. Anyways, I don't want James Harden on this team. But I did see some rumors on Twitter that there could be a little floppy flop between James Harden coming down to Miami and Kyle Lowry going down to his hometown of Philly. James Harden is getting paid. He just opted in to $35.6 million, and uh, Kyle Lowry is getting $29.6 million. Typed in the contracts into Fanspo, and sure enough, the trade is successful. Now, of course, fit-wise, uh, from a Heat standpoint, I would do that if it was straight up because I also think Kyle Lowry sucks. I just think James Harden is a little bit better, even though I don't respect him as a player performer. So I would do that trade. Maybe Philly would do that trade because they technically don't lose James Harden for nothing. They get Kyle Lowry, who I suppose has a role on that team as a veteran with a lot of other young guys there. So maybe he could provide some sort of veteran leadership experience. Uh, and also he's from Philly, so maybe he just wants to go there now. Uh, we might have to attach maybe a second or some other piece. And of course, depending what that piece is, uh, I would consider it because I am not a Kyle Lowry fan either. I don't like the flopping and he was terrible last year, uh, especially given his contract, which isn't fair to him. I mean, they gave him the money, but as a fan, I get to say that. Now, the trade would work. The only issue that probably would stop that from ever happening is I think James Harden wants to go to a team that would give him an immediate extension the Miami Heat would not do that. And uh, on top of that, it probably would halt their attempt at Dame, which seems like where they're at right now. Uh, there were some conflicting reports whether Miami could still get both. Truthfully, I don't understand all this stuff about the first apron, second apron, third apron. They got all kind of new rules in the CBA. One thing I do like is you can't add three new, uh, three two-way players to a roster instead of two. And you know the Miami Heat have a tendency to find some real hoopers in that two-way spot, so that is pretty cool. But that's really all I got to say for this video, man. Free agency does want to start, uh, does start tomorrow. So I didn't really want to do a, a full video today, a full episode today. Uh, I don't even know if I was going to upload this on the podcast side. I probably will just because I've been talking long enough and some people more, might want to hear my thoughts on James Harden. But that's all I got to say for this video. I'll have another uh, episode out on this channel and on this podcast some point after free agency, after there's some moves. But until then, if you're on the podcast side, make sure to leave five stars if you enjoyed. And if you're on the YouTube side, leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a dislike if you didn't because at the end of the day, I, I really can't tell you what to do. But if you did enjoy, uh, if you did enjoy the video, uh, subscribe because that does help me a lot. It helps me chase the dream, man, of doing this full time one day. But I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Look, pull up in the city, tryna get that dead fast Slash. Do it on my own, I don't need no dead weight Wait. Had to kill him off, yeah, I need a headspace You know this homegrown bitch, don't a fan, mate hmm.